हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लोगरिथम टेस्ट एंड लोगरिथम टेस्ट इफ समथिंग यू एन इज अ सीरीज ऑफ पॉजिटिव टर्म्स सच दैट लिमिट एंड टेंस टू इंफिनिटी एंड लोग यू एन अपॉन यू एन प्लस वन इक्वल टू एल इफ एल ग्रेटर देन वन समथिंग यू एन इज कन्वर्जेंट एंड इफ एल लेस देन वन समथिंग यू एन इज डाइवर्जेंट इफ एल इक्वल टू वन टेस्ट विल बी फेल्स लोगरिथम टेस्ट इज अप्लाइड आफ्टर द फेलियर ऑफ रेशो टेस्ट एंड जनरली When in ratio test limit and tens to infinity u n upon u n plus one involve e, then we will apply logarithm test. Now come to the question. Test the convergence or divergence of the series x plus two square x square upon two factorial plus three raised to the power three x cube upon three factorial plus four raised to the power four x raised to the power four upon four factorial plus dot dot and so on and x greater than zero. Now let u n equal to It is two square, three square, four square. That's why this term can be written one square into x upon two factorial three four. It can be written one factorial. So u n equal to one square, one power one also you can write one raised to the power one, two raised to the power two, three raised to the power three, four raised to the power four. That's why it will be n raised to the power n. Here x raised to the power one, two, three, four. So x raised to the power n upon One factorial, two factorial, three factorial. It will be n factorial. And u n plus one n will be replaced by n plus one. N raised to the power n means n plus one raised to the power n plus one. X raised to the power n it will be x raised to the power n plus one. And n factorial replaced by n plus one factorial. U n upon u n plus one put the value of u n n raised to the power n x raised to the power n upon n factorial into u n plus one. It is n plus one whole raised to the power n plus one into x raised to the power n plus one upon n plus one. It will be n plus one factorial. It is your numerator. Now simplify it. X raised to the power. This term can be written x raised to the power n into x. So from this x n x raised to the power n will be cancelled out. You will get one upon x. This term. Now n raised to the power n as it is n plus one factorial. It can be written n plus one into n factorial. Upon n factorial as it is, from this term we will take n common power is n plus one, n plus one whole raised to the power n plus one. It can be written n plus one whole raised to the power n into n plus one. So this term as it is. Now from here we will take n common power is n, so it will be n raised to the power n bracket one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n. This term you will write here. Now n factorial to n factorial cancel out, n raised to the power n to n raised to the power n cancel out, and n plus one to n plus one will be cancel out. Now u n upon u n plus one equal to here in numerator only one upon one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n. This into one upon x. It is your u n upon u n plus one. Now according to ratio test. Limit n tends to infinity. U n upon u n plus one equal to limit n tends to infinity. U n upon u n plus one. You will put value of this. One upon one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n into one upon x as it is. Now it can be written one upon one upon limit n tends to infinity. You will take limit of this term only in denominator because n is here. Limit n tends to infinity. So one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n into one upon x as it is. Or it is a formula for e limit n tends to infinity one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n. It is the formula for e, so it will be one upon e x. Now by ratio test, summation u n is convergent if one upon e x greater than one, or you can say x less than one upon e, and it will be divergent if one upon x less than one, or you can say x greater than one upon e. But ratio test will be fails if one upon x equal to one, or you can say x equal to one upon e. At x equal to one upon e, ratio test fail. So then we will apply logarithm test. Now value of x equal to one upon e put in u n upon u n plus one. Then it will be convert into one upon one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n as it is into x will be replaced by one upon e. That's why it will be convert into e. Now for logarithm test, we will take log of this term u n upon u n plus one log e upon one plus one upon n whole raised to the power n. Now here you will apply this formula log 
m upon n. It can be written log m minus log n. This formula. So it can be written log e minus log one plus one upon n whole s to the power n. A value of log e is one. Now log one plus one upon n whole s to the power n. This formula will be apply log m raised to the power n can be written n log m. That's why power of this n it will be n log one plus one upon n. Now one as it is minus n as it is apply formula of log one plus one upon n. You know log one plus x formula for log one plus x equal to x minus x square upon two plus x cube upon three minus dot dot. It will be formula for log one plus x. Here x replaced by one upon n. So it will be converted into one upon n. X replaced by one upon n. One upon n minus one upon two n square plus one upon three n cube minus dot dot. Now break it will be. We remove one as it is. N will be multiplied in this. N to N cancel. It is one minus minus plus one upon two N square from this N. One power will be cancel out. One upon two N plus sign will be changed by minus one upon three. One power will be less three N square. It is the value of log U N upon U N plus one. Now for log for log breaking test, limit N tends to infinity N log U N upon U N plus one. And this value of log u n upon u n plus one from here, one to one will be cancel out. One upon two n minus one upon three n square plus dot dot. Now you will multiply in within the bracket. N will be cancel out from here. One upon two minus one upon three one power will be less. One upon three n. Now put the value of n infinity three into infinity infinity one upon infinity. It will one upon infinity will be zero. That's why one upon two. Minus zero equal to one upon two. It is the value less than one. So limit value of log breaking for log breaking test when l less than one. Limit less than one. Summation u n is divergent. That's why by log breaking test the given series is divergent. Hence summation u n is convergent if convergent if x less than one upon e and divergent if x greater than or equal to one upon e. Thank you.